Anthony Grasso here, bringing you financial news you can use. In this video, I'm doing a stock analysis on Jumia Technologies. Is this e-commerce company in the emerging African continent worth investing in right now? Well, let's find out together. I'm going to go over a summary of the company, its product offerings, recent headline news, financials, analyst projections, and give it my buy, hold, or sell recommendation for your long-term growth investors out there. And as always, folks, don't forget to smash that like button down below. It definitely helps. And consider subscribing and hit that notification bell to like your daily stock reviews and recommendations from an un unbiased source. So let's get right into it. So Jumia Technologies is a German-based company specialized in e-commerce. The company operates an online marketplace for African consumers to buy and sell goods. The company offers a number of products, which include dresses, leggings, skirts, polo shirts, belts, watches, sunglasses, health products, beauty products, and a range of products for children, among others. So let's go ahead and look at some of the news of the company. So the quarter four reports just came out in the 2020 reports. So uh, he, uh, the co-CEO Jeremy Hodor uh, talked about the African e-commerce and his company's path to profitability. Now the results were mixed from quarter four in 2020 with active and gross profit increased while orders and gross merchandise volume fell. A particular feature that has troubled the company since its inception in 2012 uh, was also present, namely a uh, persistent adjusted EBITDA and operating losses. However, those metrics fell year over year, and the company in a statement said that it had demonstrated meaningful progress on our path to profitability. But I'm going to definitely get into the path of profitability in a few minutes. The unevenness of Jumia's business is also affected and, and how its share price performed in the past year. In March 2020, the company hit rock bottom and traded at an all-time low of $2.15 after facing fraud allegations, but it hit an all-time high of $69.89 almost a year later this February. Now, the CEO talked about the company's projected path to profitability, but I'm going to get that in a few minutes. So let's just go ahead and look at some of the fundamentals of the company. So the current market capitalization is around $3.9 billion. And the, the current share price right now is currently trading at $43.65 a share. The 2020 revenue was 139 million euro with a negative 160 million in euro in earnings. Now the revenue is forecast to grow 38.73% per year. Now it's currently unprofitable and it's not forecast to become profitable over the next three years. It is forecast to become profitable by the end of 2024, where revenues are projected to be 1.64 billion with positive earnings of 236 million. But please note that revenues are only forecasted to slightly grow between 2021 and the beginning of 2024. And then the projections have uh, Jumia rock skyrocket in 2024. To, to that projected uh, $1.6 billion. So I, I think they're projecting infrastructure in place by the end of uh, uh, 20, well, by 2024. It's important to note that shareholders have been diluted in the past year. Jumia's uh, short-term assets do exceed their short-term and long-term liabilities though. It does have a stable cash runway. Jumia has sufficient cash runway for, for more than three years based on its current free cash flow. Now, Jumia, you have to note, though, Jumia is overvalued based on its price to book and price to sales ratio. The price to book ratio is 15 times compared to the U.S. online retail industry average of five times. Now, so what are the consensus uh, of the analysts out there right now? Well, the current consensus is a hold. 85% say it's a hold and 14% say it's going to underperform over the next six months to 12 months. The average stock price target is only $30.63 with a high estimate of $45 and a low estimate of $11 over the next 12 months. Now going over an analyst report, the street ratings has a sell recommendation uh, on this stock because it's uh, based on several weak investment measures, which uh, they, sh they think should drive the stock to significantly underperform the majority of stocks that they rate. The area that they feel has the company's primary weaknesses has been the deteriorating net income. It's definitely been bad over the past five quarters. So am I a buy, hold, or sell recommendation on Jumia Technologies? Here are my thoughts. The bearish sentiment is that the company's explosive stock growth has gone too far, too fast, and too soon, and it's outpaced its current fundamentals. The bullish sentiment is that the company is currently undervalued considering the tremendous opportunity it has. So basically the, the bulls are saying, well, it's undervalued because in the future it's going to skyrocket. 
uh, but but based on today's values it's currently overvalued but based upon future projections it's undervalued but those future projections are five years out we have to look at a perceived risk the jumia's business model it has always been that the African continent has an underdeveloped infrastructure, both physical and digital. Now, here's a statement from the World Bank that we should examine uh, uh, before we look at Jumia. Across Africa, where less than a third of the population has access to broadband connectivity, achieving universal, affordable, and good quality internet access by 2030 will require an investment of $100 billion. This is according to a report launched at the annual meetings of the World Bank Group, which calls for urgent action to close the internet access gap while providing a roadmap to reach this ambitious goal. So basically, it's a very ambitious task to integrate connectivity technologies throughout the entire African continent, and it will require massive investment dollars to get that ball rolling. Now, Jumia alone isn't going to transform this expansive market which is something you need to consider before buying into this stock. So we have to examine what is the state of the digital build out. Now, Google and Facebook are both involved with efforts to build a subsea internet cables to connect the continent. Now, this should be finished by 2024. But based upon all that information, I am currently a sell on this company until the stock comes back down to earth at the moment. I target a $30 share price over the next 12 months if the stock comes down between $30 to $35, I would recommend buying in and holding in for about three to five years to reap the benefits. But it's going to be a very highly volatile and very highly risky stock to get into. It will be years before long-term growth investors reap the rewards of long-term growth because Africa still needs to keep building out digitally as more of its consumers discover the convenience of e-commerce. Jumia's future seems bright with an estimate of by 2025 to have 30 million 5G connections on the continent and the mobile industry will be growing about 70%. But we have to understand that current disconnect between the current company's fundamentals and a five-year projected growth that where the, the, the revenues are just going to skyrocket in 2024 and 2025. That's a long way away. A lot could happen between now and then just so so it's overvalued based upon uh just that outlook now shares have our price at nearly 15 times book value which is staggering compared to the retail industry now jumia's price is almost 25 that time sales which is again is off the charts for retailers so there you have it folks and as always don't forget to smash that like button down below and consider subscribing and hit that notification bell to like your daily stock reviews and recommendations from an unbiased source. Until the next stock update video later today, folks. Ciao.